Kickstarter hacks, crowdfunding cheats, your rapid fire reveal on what it takes to make it happen in crowdfunding. Listen, learn, and make it happen. Art of the Kickstart.com. Hey there, crowdfunders. Welcome back to Art of the Kickstart, Kickstarter hacks. Today, we've got an awesome hack for you guys planned. We are case studying the Craftwork campaign. And if you guys haven't checked them out, which you probably haven't, they just launched. They are absolutely crushing it. These guys are making a highly portable fuel cell you can carry in your pockets. Get yourself off the grid. They've got 48 days left. They've raised over $639,000. They are absolutely crushing it. You start watching this video, it's immediately evident why. A, these guys do it super professionally. That's not something I typically like for Kickstarter campaigns. But when you see the quality of the product, it makes sense. It's in line with what they're doing. This is the kind of thing that's going to raise millions on Kickstarter. And you want to make sure you come off as a professional business, which is exactly what these guys did. They had a bit of an excessive voiceover artist who clearly knew what he was doing. It added a little bit of goofiness to the campaign. But the power and freedom, they were there. You see even more as you look at the examples. You've got bikers camping. People using this for all different kinds of things. And you can begin to see how effective craft work could be in your life. It's a fuel cell that lasts for weeks. You can live wherever you want and have power by simply recharging with an easy-to-find gas extension. So how awesome is that? You're going through the video now, and as you get out of the video, you start to check out the rest of the campaign to see why they're crushing it. It's not just product. They also did a great job. A, look how freaking incredible this product looks. That gold and black edition is amazingly aesthetic. That's what Kickstarter is going for. Craftwork, it's your own portable power plant. It's amazingly small and efficient, completely independent. They're nailing the benefits of this campaign. Telling people, this is how it's going to improve your life. This is the way it's going to make you happier. And that's why backers everywhere are buying from them. Craftwork, the first fuel cell. You see all of these amazing stretch goals. A million dollars. You can get that Pioneer's Edition, which looks absolutely amazing. Honestly, the two and a half million dollar one, that's a bit beyond where they're at now. And it looks pretty darn ugly. That green and black is not something I would want to be going for personally. Maybe retool that a little bit. But now you get down to this infographic, totally independent of the power grid, fills on just one charge, small and light, refilled in seconds. Again, guys, it's the features versus the benefits, which is so hard with sales. They clearly have an amazing copywriting team that helps them make this happen. Infinitely refillable, easy and fast, easy and cheap to reload. You're good for weeks. All of these are things that people can instantly understand. Just one plug, no adapters, easy to connect anywhere, anytime, small, extremely light refill, long lasting. Everything there is a benefit. That's what you need to do when you're making your own campaigns is sell why it's incredible to people. And this freedom, freedom and power are the two things they're selling. They bring it up all again. Freedom is one of the most fundamental. Be free. Support craft work and make your life better. That's what they're selling. And it is an incredible product, which is part of the reason why these guys are going to go down as one of the biggest Kickstarters of all time is they have something absolutely incredible. And they're crushing it. You see the founder on here actually showing how the product works, filling up the craft work so you can see exactly how simple it is to have power for weeks. Next steps, they've got an incredible timeline. Seven years. This is a technology that takes a lot of freaking time to develop. That's just the nature of how it is. They've got a team, I believe 25 people, and they've been working on this hardcore. Now it's finally ready. It's small, robust, and easy to use. All of these are pulling people, pulling backers in. How can you do that for your campaign, guys? And unlimited mobility, you see how it works with your typical GoPro. You see the specifications, which honestly aren't all that exciting, but you got to have them on there because everyone wants to know, or at least some people want to know, what the specs are like. How is this going to work for me? Who's behind it? you got to show the startup. These guys are showing them. The key figure, the creative director, they show the people behind the team. Material science degree. He had a doctorate in high temperature fuel cells. European fuel cell company. He was a director. 
All of these are lending credibility. They have 27 patents. This makes you see that instantly these guys are serious players. They believe in the success of what they're doing because it's an incredible product. They've gone through the process of seven years, 27 patents, and now they're trying to roll out limitless energy to people across the world. They need your help. And here's some of the rewards. They've got your typical thank yous. They've got your packages. And then you get into the products, which are awesome. I would love to see these a little bit more graphical. Some of them are a bit wordy. But either way, I think this is an incredibly well done, amazingly aesthetic rewards infographic. You could definitely learn something. One mistake they definitely made, though, is they have decimals instead of commas, which is going to throw off some U.S. backers. 5.000. That's $5,000. That's how the units are done in Europe and the rest of the world. But the U.S. people are used to commas. Going to throw them off. Maybe they'll hear this and change it. Maybe not. Either way, they're going to raise a good load of money. And now you get into the insights, how this technology actually works. Because when you have something like this that almost feels magic, you need to let backers know that it's actually real. This isn't something like a fake hoverboard or something wild like a time machine. They're showing people how it works, how their innovations have changed the industry, and why it provides you with clean, reliable, free energy wherever you are. And then the last thing I love about this campaign, the frequently asked questions. Can I bring craft work on an airplane? Can I use it anywhere? How do I switch it on and off? What devices can I charge? They have a list of a good 30 questions on here, which breaks down each and every single question that people are going to have about this product. That's incredibly important because it sells the campaign for you. It makes it so you don't have to answer as many questions. Frequently asked questions are frequently not used enough. And these guys absolutely killed it. All in all, that's the end of the campaign. These guys are going big. They're not going home. They're crushing it. Anything else they could have done better? I mean, more testimonials, more usage videos, all of that would be incredible. But with the type of product they have, the kind that is one of those game-changer epic products, it doesn't really matter. Congrats, guys. And if you've got any questions, remember to write in artofthekickstart.com slash CCS. Thanks for tuning in. And before we wrap up, guys, i got to give a shout-out to today's show sponsor, eFulfillmentService.com, the company that's absolutely epic for crowdfunding campaigns. And if you need to get serious fulfillment to get your products out to backers, check them out artofthekickstart.com slash EFS. Thanks for tuning in. I totally rely on you guys to make this show happen. If you've got any questions you want answered, go to artofthekickstart.com or just shoot me an email, matt at artofthekickstart. Leave feedbacks, questions, and we'll get them in on the next show. Thanks for tuning in. Hope that this case study helps you in launching your own crowdfunding campaign. And of course, check out artofthekickstart.com if you want to get more great insight into making your business happen. 